So I'm going to explain why we put the semicolon here. It's something you'll forget to do often, uh, and you need to remember to do so. Uh, and this is really just my take on it. I should probably uh, research why this is, but I, I, I'm pretty sure I have a good feeling why it is. Um, so to get down to the bare bones main um, in C++, or and this or this would work fine in C as well, except in C I'd have to say int here and return zero. But either way, so going back, um, before classes or objects or any of that stuff existed in C++, uh, we would declare variables out here. So I'd say my int, my int, and then down here I could say my int gets five and uh, I could print my int or maybe use my int in some calculations but anyway your data you would declare your data out here at file scope and and the compiler puts that memory in or opens up memory for that in RAM uh, well technically it creates code to open that memory up in RAM but anyway into my int there's there's four bytes at least on my machine I think um, whatever the size of an int is in fact uh, yeah whatever anyway so int my int float another data element we could go all day long I'm putting types out here but notice that every time I declare a variable here I have to put a semicolon at the end of it and I believe the same follows true when you make a class, class my class, just to make it parse correctly. Um, I'm declaring a type here, much like I'm declaring this variable here. So a semicolon is required. I, uh, actually, in C++, I could say instance here. And so this, this syntax is really weird because now I've declared a class called my class. And here's the definition of my class. And by the way, I also want to declare an instance right there, so make room for this thing in memory. Um, but then even worse, I can, well, not even worse, but uh, let's say another class. So here I have another class, which is an instance of my class. And I also have instance, which is an instance of my class. So in this case, I um, declare the class and also declare a instance of it. And here I'm just using the class definition to declare an instance, both of which are legit. It's just this one might feel a feel a little weird. But anyway, that's that's my take on why we need to put the semicolon at the end of a class. Uh, once in a while I will use this syntax when it, it has to be once in a blue moon and it has to make complete sense that I'm doing it. And sometimes I'm just using it to show off. But for the most part, just drop the semicolon at the end of the class and be happy that you did.